All right, what's good, Josh? Your boy Desert Eagle here. Um, just going to teach you guys how to diagnose, um, you know, um, basically is a check engine light on for codes uh, P0171 and P0174. Uh, you know, when you get those codes in your check engine light, uh, basically, they um, is related to um, a possible vacuum leak uh, in your system, which is most likely um, coming out of these hoses right here. And uh, as you can see, I got duct tape right here uh, to basically um, temporarily cover the dry rot, the cracks or holes or whatever that was coming out of this uh, vacuum hose. And um, knowing, you know, Fords, I actually had to order a brand new one from eBay because uh, Pep Boys or AutoZone, Vance Auto or whatever, not even Napa had these parts in stock. So I just ordered from eBay two, two of these. It was 10 bucks. Jesus Christ. How business does it when it's um, discontinued and, you know, since it's so rare now, they decide to up the price. But um, I'm going to teach you how to diagnose basically a leak that's coming out of these hoses. Um, it's either, it says either it could be the hose or the PCV valve that's under this elbow right here, which is this right here is the PCV valve. It's basically responsible for uh, controlling the flow of your oil, basically. Um, you know, um, it, it does so much to your oil system. I, I can't really fully explain, but I already replaced the uh, PCV valve and actually runs a lot better. And it's also said to be uh, related to your mass airflow sensor, which is located under here. And, um, well, right now, as you can see, I put duct tape right here because my uh, bracket, like, kind of rusted and broke on its own. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the junkyard and uh, get, the, uh, get, get another one. I'm going to get another one and basically take this tape off. <laughs> It's a little ghetto what I'm doing right now, but they don't sell it anywhere. But you either go to the junkyard or order from eBay. eBay was like 30 bucks. I'm pretty sure I get it at a junkyard a lot cheaper than that. I mean, it's a 2002, so. Um, but yeah, I've already suspected why my check engine light is on and where the leak is coming from. Well, I had several reasons. One, my PCV valve was actually pretty bad. It was like burnt and dry rotted and everything, and it's never been replaced. So I replaced the PCV valve. I, play, I changed my mass airflow sensor because, um, you know, during the check engine light, I had the, um, my truck was stalling a lot and it was running extremely rough. So me changing the mass airflow sensor inside actually, um, it made it run a lot better, but it still like, you know, hesitates at times. So I found uh, more problems. It was uh, the hose that was bad and this one was pretty bad as well. But I wind up uh, replacing this and it actually runs slightly better. So I'm actually getting better and better. So um, basically this is part of the vacuum hose. It connects from the throttle body to this valve right here. So uh, my only issue now is this hole right here, th this hose right here. Because uh, it was another one that was extremely dry rotted and um, cracked and everything. And what I'm going to do is... Uh, might be a way I can turn the flash on it's not on okay I guess I'll work on it whatever or unless you can see it uh as you can see it's extremely dry rotted right here like the seals of it and this is the main spot right here because this is connected to the heater core but um yeah what I'm gonna do is um turn going to start the car right now and basically show you how to check it oh before I even get into that I'm going to show you something else. This carburetor sp uh, spray right here is one of the ways to do it. Well, technically, there's three ways to do it. One, there's a smoke tester. You can get at uh, Pep Boys, AutoZone, or Napa, or Advance Auto, or any place that, you know, is an auto parts store. Or probably go to Target or where, um, Walmart or any way. Or just order on a line or whatever. That will be the cheapest option. But um, just, uh, yeah. A smoke tester would be your best, your easiest and safest bet as far as diagnosing a leak because it'll tell you right away or at least in a couple minutes or so where it's coming from. That's method one, number one. Now, the second way, you can use a torch, which I don't have I don't have on me right now. It's in my garage, but I don't really feel like it, so I'll just show a picture wherever you can see it. That's exactly what it's going to look like. So what you basically do is crack the, um, the edge, like turn it like just a little slightly counterclockwise, and, um, you know, the fuse and stuff is going to come out of it and basically just point that towards wherever you su suspect the leak is coming from. And what's going to happen is uh, once you find that uh, that spot that's leaking, the car is basically going to run normal again. 
temporarily um, sealing up that hole. So, um, you know, before it was running like extremely rough, it would be like, rum, 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 rum. like, it would be like hesitating, like getting ready to like, you know, stall on you. For those that don't know, that means it's going to die. So it's going to keep doing that. But once you put that torch next to wherever the leak is coming from, it's going to run steady again. So that's another way to do it. Of course, you don't set the torch on fire or anything. You just crack it open as the thing is going to leak out. You put that towards wherever you think it's leaking from. And last but not least is the carburetor spray. It's your third method and is not really your, not always recommended, but a lot of mechanics use this anyway because it's the easy, I mean, it's another easy way, but it's also pretty risky. So basically, if you use this too much, um especially when the engine is hot, it's going to catch on fire. And <laughs> yeah, that, that exactly right there. If you're thinking about not using this, then you're smart. But you know, a lot of mechanics decide to be idiots and use this, like me. So what I'm basically going to do is um, use this and spray this wherever the leak is coming from. So I mean, mainly this is, this is originally used for like carburetors or throttle bodies, or I mean, you can use that throttle body or uh, brake spray or brake clean spray that they use to spray on the rotors. But yeah. Um, so yeah, like I say, just spray this wherever you think it's leaking from. Um, I did have a slight leak from this, this little, um, elbow right here. But once I tape that up with duct tape, once I cover it with duct tape, it hasn't really been leaking like that since. So that's one thing to solve it. But, um, I know exactly where it's coming from. So I'm going to teach you how to go through it. And without further ado, let's get this started. Car's a little messy right now. All right. How's it going? All right, you can hear the whistle and everything because of that uh, hose. So I'm gonna have to talk a little louder. What's going on? So what I'm gonna do is uh, spray, the, spray the hose. Matter of fact, let me tell you, let me show you this. Once you find out, it's going to start, it's going to start revving like this. That's what it should sound like once we find out. So, without further ado, let's, let's do it. Nothing here. Make its way to the back. Oh, you hear that? You hear that right there? That basically says right there that we found out, we found our uh, culprit. The leak is coming from the back of this here. There you go right there. So it's coming from this hose right here. This whole vacuum hose, making its way to the throttle body. I'm sorry, let me try that again. From this elbow, it's connected to this hose. This elbow connected to this hose, making its way to the back of the throttle body. That's the one we gotta change. This hose right here. I gotta keep pointing out because I know I'm not getting a good angle, so I wanna make sure everyone sees it. So it's very common. That right there is what we're going to change. So basically, when I get the hose from the junkyard, since I can't get it from eBay, it's taking forever. That's uh, what I'm going to do right there. I'm pretty sure the one in the junkyard is going to look hell of a lot better than mine. That's for damn sure. And I guess I'll put like a seal right here so it won't burn the hose ever again. So what's likely to happen from here on out until I get it done, it's pretty much going to stall. And as long as I drive on it, it's going to... Um, it's basically going to get a lot worse, so today I'm going to get that taken care of right away. But alright man, that's pretty much it y'all. Uh, that's pretty much how you get diagnose the uh, vacuum leak, which is most commonly your um, your vacuum hose. So, uh, and of course, whatever you do, don't always rely on this. <laughs> if your bracket breaks, go straight to the junkyard or order from eBay or Amazon. 
But the junkyard would be your best bet. I mean, it's just a bracket that's going to hold it in place. But what's going to happen, as long as you drive on this, um, it doesn't seal it up completely, the tape. So uh, I'm just doing this temporarily until I get the bracket because my old one kind of like broke and it wasn't holding in place at all. So, so that pretty much is. I just showed you how I just showed you how to diagnose your vacuum leak. That's most commonly your vacuum hose. So uh, once you find it, get it taken care of right away. But all right, man. I'm out of here, y'all. And uh, peace out.